is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. On the show today, you'll find out where book publishing is going and how to take advantage of it. How to identify and avoid publishing predators. What opportunities are emerging as the book trade evolves in new forms. How to avoid losing money and much, much more. Join us now as a variety of publishing pros will deliver insights and strategies to take the author to the next, next level of publishing. It's your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Brought to you by Author You and The Book Shepherd. And now, here's your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Oh, here's to another fabulous week of smart authoring, smart publishing, smart book marketing. And I'm kind of excited because my guest is someone who was not even in my radar. I didn't know anything about the company, the service, the product, what they did until I showed up live. And I'm a huge proponent of showing up live so you can meet people and connect with them and start building relationships. And Anna, who is the founder of this hot company, um, it, she's not an author, and uh, she knows authors. She works with authors. She knows a great story. She's the founder and president of a company that, as an author, you need to know about, and you need to know about it right now, especially if you've dreamed of getting your books developed into a film or a TV series. Her name is Anna Benitez, and she's the two-time Emmy-winning producer, is a passionate advocate for helping authors take their books to the screen. The company that we're going to reveal to you, tell you about, and how they work is called Story Rocket, and you can find out about it at storyrocket.com. It's it's truly unique. It's a -a one-of-a-kind platform where authors can post their stories for the entertainment industry to discover. I mean, I'm talking about the voyeurs of entertainment who are looking for different ideas. And you're going to learn more about how this platform works, how it can benefit you. And and I want to say, wait, wait, you're thinking, wait a minute, if I put up my stories, anyone can take them and rip them off and run with it. Nope, that's not what we're talking about. And what Anna's going to reveal is how it all works. So Anna, welcome to Author You, Your Guide to Book Publishing. Wow, that is a great start. Um, I'm super excited to be here. We did meet a few weeks ago um, over at a convention. And like you said, I'm, I'm a great proponent also of meeting one-to-one. Um, I want to thank you for having me here, and I also want to thank your listeners. Um, I think this is uh, – Story Rock is just something that is needed. It was really needed, and I'm so happy to be here with you. Oh, well, I'm I'm jazzed, too. I mean, I'm just jazzed, too. Excited to talk about it, to let people know um, and start getting people introduced to what the concept is all about. So c- kind of like, let, let's start with, um, why don't you tell me just a tad about your own background, Anna, and then let's get into, you know, how, how and why you started Story Rocket. Yes. Um, so... A quick little recap is I've been at this uh, industry for over 20 years. I started my career at Univision. For those of you who do not speak Spanish, it's the largest Spanish language (laughs) network in the U.S. It's also seen international. And I started in the newsroom um, initially. And then I had the opportunity to transfer into the entertainment area where I excelled at live daily magazine type shows. Later, I went on to do pre-recorded specials and finally to produce the network's highest rated special events, um, such as award shows, Disney parades, specials, concerts, and so forth. So I've kind of uh, done it all and I love it. I love this space. And I so uh, love also working with writers because it all starts with a story. It doesn't matter uh, what kind of production you're in. If it's, vi- if, if it's a video for movies, if we're doing a TV series, if we're talking about webisodes now, they're very, very popular. If we're talking about uh, uh, what else is out there, gaming, even gaming, it all starts with a story. So it all starts with a written word. And and the written word, uh, I mean, words are my favorite, some of my favorite things in all the world. So with that said, and, and this is really what I, when I was introducing it, this is the way to get author smarter. This is what we're doing. We're, we're going that and you have to, you have to reach out to find these little gems 
um, that are out there. And one of the things that I loved about Anna, for all of you, that the, one of the things I say, you don't need an MBA or a PhD. What you just have to be is G-O-O-D. That's the diploma you're after. And when you're working with someone who brings their experience, their vision, their passion from the trenches, a la carte for Anna, 20 plus years, that that's where you want to be at their footsteps to learn from. Or in our case, we want to be at our computers, our iPads, our phones, wherever we're listening to this at. All right, Boy, so. have things changed in those 20 years. Uh, well, you know, they have. Things that, yeah, and, and you asked me, why did we start Story Rocket? And, you know, I think one of the things you I heard you say when you spoke, when we met, was that we are all problem solvers, correct? Yeah. correct? Yep. And, you know, there was a problem that we saw on the writing side, but guess what? There was also a big problem on the producer side. So my co-founder, uh, Ron Karras, which you also met, he's a screenwriter, uh -huh. and he's actually one of the lucky ones. And I say lucky ones, why? Because he's an insider. So as an insider, you can get your foot through the door, but guess what? 90% or more of all writers do not have that benefit. They cannot get in through the door. It doesn't matter if you have the best story in the world. If you don't have a big time agent that could get you through the door or you have a big star attached to your project or know someone on the inside, chances are you're just not going to make it through the door. So, um, you know, Ron one day was just talking to me about it and he was kind of frustrated. He was coming back from one of his trips um, to Los Angeles in one of the major studios about, uh, you know, developing one of his scripts. And he says, imagine all the writers that can't get through the door or that don't have the money to go to LA and show their stuff. And um, I don't know if most people know, but most networks and studios have a policy of uh, that they don't take on solicited work. Mm -hmm. So what happens if Dr. Bryles, mm -hmm. you send your hugely awarded story to one of these studios, it either gets number one dumped Yes, dumped in the trash. Or number two, if they have a way of sending it back to you, they'll send it back to you with a really nice little letter saying, sorry, we do not take unsolicited work. But this is really, this is really something that is not only a problem for the writer who sees that all these doors are closed, this is also a problem for studios. And if people notice, if you watch the same, let's say you're a, you know, your favorite channel, you see the same credits all the time. This is not a coincidence, is that they're working with a small group of people. So one of the things that I love about Story Rocket is that we're opening the marketplace for producers to see things outside of the circle in a way that doesn't negatively impact them. And at the same time, we're opening up the gates to the writers who've had the dream of getting their material in front of producers and being able to have that opportunity now. So I think it's a win-win on both sides, and that's why I'm so excited about Story Rocket, because I think we're doing good to, for everyone. You are doing good. So one of the things, you know, I, I kind of kissed on it, and I don't know if you were going to cover it later on as we chatted, but there is certainly a fear, um, and, and, and I am totally aware of the studio's policies, is you don't come unsolicited to us. Um, <laughs> that we come to you, you got or you've got to use the portal um, with someone who's an insider that gets you on the in the inside track through the gate, as you said, correct? Correct. All right. Is, correct. is that is, is Anna? Is that because of the fear of of lawsuits and things, or someone claiming that my idea was lifted? And yeah. um, Okay. So that's there. So Ab absolutely, that that is a fear. Um, you know, and when you're a big studio. That is a big fear because you could get sued for a lot of money and whether it's something that's worth, you know, pursuing or not, you will get sued and you have to protect yourself. Um, Story Rocket, though, has a lot of protection. So for the writer, you can only, once you've created a pitch package, and you're going to hear about this pitch package because really mm -hmm. this is a central piece, mm -hmm. um, you can only put five pages that are visible. And if a producer wants to see the rest of your story, they have to request it from you, and you have to actually give permission. So it's in the hands of the writer to protect their material. 
And, you know, I say to writers, hey, just because a producer reached out to you via Star Rocket, don't just give it up. Ask them questions. Who are you? What kind of studio? What kind of work have you done in the past? What are your credentials? Have you won any awards? What is this distribution channel for this potential movie deal? So, you know, I say to writers, get smart. Ask questions. Don't be um, intimidated by producers. They need you. They need your material to make anything happen. It all starts with a script. Well, you know, those are essential. I love that you gave these key questions. I mean, just I'm I'm sure that there's more, Anna, but these, you know, right at the top, some key questions that you have not only the right, but the responsibility to ask before you turn anything loose, correct? Correct. Correct. Uh, yeah. And that's and, where you people, know, all the yeah. communication within Story Rocket is kept in Story Rocket. And it's for a reason, it's to protect people. Um, so not only are you protected by only showing five pages, which you choose which five pages, mm-hmm. also any communication back and forth throughout with story, inside of Story Rocket remains protected for the life of, of your membership. And remember, I, we're going to talk about it later, but a membership is always free. So, you know, we've put a lot of things in place to protect people because we know that that is the question. And on the other side, producers, what are they getting? What is the big value? Why do they Why want do they to be on Story, Story Rocket? Rocket? Number one, we give them a great search engine where they don't have to spend hours upon hours looking for the right material. So they can search by genre. They can search by location. They can search by writer. They can search whether they want a female or a male writer. Well, there's all sorts of parameters. If they're looking for a book because they want to adapt it or they're looking already for a script because they don't have time to adapt. All these things are parameters inside of Story Rocket that a producer uses to make their life a lot easier. The other thing is because the material is posted as a pitch package, they don't have to read a book 300 pages and wait for someone to write coverage, which, by the way, a lot of these people who do that, and people I would see that the eyes go like, woo, like very wide, are interns. Your first gatekeepers Mm -hmm. and a lot of these big companies are interns. Yeah, A a lot of people, and you know what, and I'm glad you said that because a lot do not realize that they are the gatekeepers. All right, we're going to be right back with us here talking, moving your book to the movie. is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Is there a book in you or another author you will show you how to create, develop, and publish your book without being hoodwinked? If you already have a book out, You'll find a supportive and brainstorming community that's connected and creative no matter where you live. Author U brings in national experts for its book camps and annual author extravaganza held each May. It has regular meetings and delivers webinars for its members on timely topics. Through Author U's extensive network, members enjoy exclusive benefits, including significant discounts for a variety of services necessary to publish. The Resource, its online book publishing news magazine, is content-heavy and it's free. If you want to create a book that has possessed Jazz, punch, and panache. Author U is for you. If you're a hobbyist or a casual author, it's not. Join Author U today through its website at authoru.org. Follow Author U on Twitter at Author U and on Facebook at Author U, where timely author and publishing tips and articles are posted daily. Author U, where the author goes to become seriously successful. Impressions are everything in the world of book publishing. Whether your book is an ebook, a print version, or both, your book cover needs to pop, sizzle, and sparkle to immediately capture the attention of your audience. And your book's interior needs to be just as dynamic and reflect the professionalism your readers demand. Nick Selinger of NZ Graphics has won numerous national and international book awards for his cover designs and interior layouts. 
With over 20 years of experience in graphic design, he knows what it takes to create award-winning books and the many promotional pieces that authors need, such as posters, banners, postcards, one-sheets, business cards, logos, and more. Visit ncgraphics.com and see what authors and publishers have to say about their award-winning books and how NZ Graphics can make your book the success it was meant to be. That's nzgraphics.com. Welcome back to your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. If you want to write and publish a book, if you want to be successful as an author, your guide to book publishing, everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask, is for you. Stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All right, so we are talking about TV series. We're talking about movies. We're talking about you and your book that might have a great concept, a great aha, a great story that people all around you say, this should be a movie. I mean, I can't tell you how many times I've heard that about some of my clients' books I've worked with. Even some of I have people say, Judith, you need to get your story on the, on the TV. I don't think so. But with that said, <laughs> I, I, I think it's important to know that there are portals out there that are safe, inexpensive, and really have the power behind them to um, make things happen. And I think Story Rocket is exactly one of those new portals. It's just a year old, and that with us is the the creative vision behind it um, that we can really get into, you know, the the who, what, where, when, and why, and how we do this. Um, in the process. So with that said, we we went to the break and I was I was throwing out on a um, just a little bit about, you know, people's concerned about someone getting their ID and run to it. Can you kiss on that just a little bit more and then we'll jump on to options and what that all means and those kind of things. Hello. Hey, we lost Hello? you. Hi, Anna. Yeah. Yes, here we are. No, I don't know what happened. You you went blank. Huh. So I right. hung up. All right, Ben, are we connected? Kept, yeah, I, I kept saying like hello, 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 and then I said, nope. Okay, look, I have to call back. No, it it just I just got a message saying we lost her. Okay. So we'll splice okay. it right back in our tunes coming back. All right, coming back, as we before we went to our break here, we were talking about just the power of Story Rocket. And with us is the founder, the visionary, uh, the person who made it happen, um, Anna Benitez. And we are really brainstorming here how you can take your book to the film, to TV series, to connect with insiders. And that's one of the things she kissed on. you got to be connected with an insider. Insider, I need to say, not incisor, but <laughs> it is. it's an incisor. Anyway, that Story Rocket offers that window for you. Right, and so, and and Anna, one of the things that, uh, that all authors worry about is having things. Okay, so they get a they get a peek. You're talking about they get their five pages that that they can appear, um, and then the the producer reaches out to the author. You gave a few questions. Maybe you can go over some of those again of what they should be asking before they open the, the next window, let's say. Right. So um, I'm going to dial it back a little bit. So, yes, they get to see five pages, but really what they're seeing is a self-submitted pitch package. This is what the writers are going onto Story Rocket and creating. And the self-submitted pitch package includes, for example, a tagline, a logline, your main character description, your synopsis, 
um, whether, you know, your writing is a book, a script, a manuscript, um, a short story. It's going to include all that information. It's going to include registering authority. So if your book has an ISBN number or you've written a script and it's, um, and it's been registered with a WGA, it has all this information. It'll, it'll have your book cover. Um, it'll have your genre. So it's, it has all this information in a pitch package format. Mm-hmm. On top of that, it also includes those five pages that you were talking about. Mm-hmm. So once a producer looks at this pitch package, which, by the way, we're saving producers tons of time because it's a lengthy process to go through a book and wait for coverage and all that. A producer will be able to make a decision whether something is worth their time or not within five to ten minutes by looking at this pitch package. And if they love what they see and they say, you know what, I really like this, they can connect with you through Story Rocket directly. They are not connecting with Story Rocket. I want to make that clear. They are connecting with the writer or if the writer happens to have an agent or if the publisher owns the right to the to um to the movie or, or T V series or, or video, then those are the people that will be listed on Story Rocket and that communication will go directly to them. Right. So just to recap for everyone, you, the author, writer, is submitting. Um so it's up, it's it's in a special your own special page. You're you're a member, um, that that someone who is looking and Anna will get into that, is looking for a genre, a location, a male or female idea, some uh, you know something that they have their keywords that they're up and about. Also, Anna mentioned the WGA. That's the Writers Guild of America. So you want to? Did I get that right? That's what you. Yes, called? you did. Yep. That is perfect. Right. <laughs> Good. That that that's you should be do if you're submitting anything out there. It's really wise to make sure you get get your info up there. For a little bit of a, another protection clause. All right, so right. you've mentioned options. But let's talk about what options are. Um, explain what it is, what's the process, why it's really important, um, and how the author may be or the writer may be involved in this whole thing. Okay, so uh, people kind of kick the word around option, but option is a contract. And the option contract basically spells beforehand what the deal is going to be. So it's very important that if you're offered an option that you don't take that lightly because a lot of the options are not, an option contract does not have a lot of money up front unless you're a very established author within the entertainment industry. So for example, you could say someone comes up to you, they want to option your book for one year. That's kind of like the typical time period. A year. It could be six months. It could be a year. It could be a little longer. But typically, it'll be a year. What does that happen? What happens here is that the producer now knows that that script is exclusively retained for them or that book or that story while they look for all the elements that they need to produce that movie or TV series or whatever it's going to be. So they're going to now start packaging it. So they're going to look for the stars that are going to appear in that movie. They're going to look for the locations. They're going to look for their financing. They're going to look for their distribution channels. So they're going to kind of put it all together. And they know they have one year to put it all together. That's called the option period. And once that happens, if they're successful, it continues into development with the conditions that have been set forth in that option. Now, what happens if it doesn't go to development? Which is, that's very typical. If there's authors out there listening to me that have had their stuff option, they could tell you it probably didn't even go into development. If it does not go into development, you keep the money that they gave you when you signed the option contract and the rights are back to you for that movie deal, and now you're able to resell it. So, you know, the option is the contractual part of where everything begins, and it's really important. Some people say, oh, but they only gave me $1,000, or oh, they only gave me $10,000. 
oh, it's not a reputable company. You know, you never know. And really, the, the, the rules that are set there is what's going to govern when it actually goes into production. Um, does that make sense? <laughs> it does. So if you're offered an option contract, um, that it's going to have different contingencies within it. Is this something that you really should have a certain type of attorney look over, or would, or would they queer it up? I, I would say uh, yes. Always try to get an entertainment attorney if you can. I know in some parts of the country those are not very available, um, but at least have an attorney look at the terms and pick your brain a little bit as to what it is. I have to say to the brand new writers that have never been produced, you will not have a say as to who's going to adapt your book to film. And that comes as a shock to a lot of writers. Yeah, it does. But, you know, you, you lose that control, especially in your first, your first go around. They're, they're going to take this book and they have to synthesize 300 pages into a two-hour movie. That is not an easy task. A lot of writers say, hey, should I go ahead and adapt my book? It's really up to you. Some people like want to do that. Some people don't. But what I do have to say is just to be aware that you will not have a say, at least in your first one, as to who adapts your book, how it gets adapted, and who are the stars that are going to play um, those amazing roles that you've written out. So, it, you know, people are saying, what? That, that's the way it is. And I, I'm giving you insider information so mm -hmm. that people are not shocked when they go through the process that they don't, they are not the writer writing the script. Most likely they will not be. Well, you know, it's always interesting. I mean, we, have, we have about uh, 40 seconds to our next break, but I, I people are shocked um, to see how scripts really go. And, and I would encourage all of you, if you are really serious about going down, that you need to see what a real script looks like. And you can get free copies of those and, and just Google their sites to do it. But it's a different type of writing. It's a different scale. It's a different gift. And it's not something that, and you'll be surprised at how tight they are. They're unbelievably tight. All right, with that, Anna, we're going to take another quick break. We're talking about Story Rocket, an awesome new tool and portal authors need to know about. We'll be right back. is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. Want to publish like a pro today? Well, then take a look at Ingram Spark, the only publishing platform that offers print and ebook services through a single source. Upload, edit, and manage titles all in one place. Take more control of printing costs with print on demand and reach even more readers through one of the world's most extensive distribution networks. Built by independent publishers for independent publishers, Ingram Spark has everything you need to maximize your book's potential. Color printing, ebook distribution, print on demand, global reach, and more. Start publishing with Ingram Spark today and see just how far your titles will go tomorrow. That's IngramSpark.com. Many of us have dreamed of writing a book. Some of us even have. Then the hard work starts. You'll need an editor. Who will design the cover or typeset the pages? Who will format the ebook? If you're a business owner, consultant, or coach with a serious message and expertise to share, the team of experts at 1106 Design can guide you through the maze. They've helped more than a thousand authors create top quality books and avoid the not so reputable self publishing companies. Learn more at 1106design.com. Then call Michelle at 602-866-3226. 1106-DESIGN.
Ed Thompson and Harry Shore started Thompson Shore in 1972, they believed employees with great character would make up the best company. They were right. They hired people who were not only experts in bookmaking, but who were obsessed with quality and delivering exceptional customer service. Almost 40 years later, Thompson Shore remains a 100% employee-owned company. Ned and Harry knew that successful customer projects are a direct result of empowered employees. We specialize in all books for large and small publishers. Creating beautiful and well-made books, we're dedicated to pleasing our customers by making the experience a good one from start to finish. The personal touch we have with our customers allows us to be innovative in solving their most difficult challenges. Our platform also ensures that we can remain flexible to meet our customers' unique needs and expectations. Our marketing kit can create buzz for your title, enhancing the promotion of your book during infancy. When you need to test the market to gauge your future sales, we can provide digitally printed books that will transition seamlessly into a larger offset run. From ebook to hard copy to delivery, our skillful customer service teams are at the ready to answer your most pressing question. At Thompson Shore, we know that making the highest quality books requires more than just best technologies. It requires superior customer service, professionalism to the trade, and commitment to environmental and social values. With these standards of excellence in place, you can be sure that we will always help you put your best book forward. Publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. Coming up, you'll hear more about statistics, scenarios, and strategies on what to do now to get you published. So let's get back to the show. And here again is your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. All righty, we're talking about you, your book, your words, and opening a window to see if uh, film big screen film, TV series, variations of what can happen on the imagery side of things um, are fit for you. And there is a terrific new portal that was created a little bit over a year ago called Story Rocket. And you can find out all you need to know at storyrocket.com. And with us is the CEO, Anna, who is really sharing some of the things that really goes through in this, this whole movie industry, the film industry the TV series, actually producers. We're talking producers and options and what to ha- what goes on with the book. And so we don't want to spook you. Actually, there's a lot of good news out here with that, um, that, that being an author is a good thing. Right, Anna? Yes. Yes, it is. And, you know, it, on the break, I was saying, you know, I hope I didn't scare everybody because um, mm-hmm. there is a lot of great news. Um, you know, today with so many channels of distribution, you know, when, when we think of, you know, the traditional channels, right, the NBC, CBS, the ABCs, the Foxes, all the subsidiary channels, all the cable channels, you know, from food to history to science, of course, the sci-fi, the Netflix, the Hulu, the YouTube, the webisodes, you know, it, the list can go on and on and on. You know, we are living in a great time of content being needed. I mean, there's more content needed today than ever before in our history. And, you know, I think this is good news for all people that are writing. I mean, think about it. Even a really great a foodie book could become an inspiration for the Food Channel. So, you know, every book is game. We're living in a great time. The other piece of news that I think would um, say, hey, maybe I should try this, uh, my good friend, J.B. Hart, and for those of you who might not know J.B. Hart, he's a rock star in the writing world, a script writer from Hollywood. He's also done some of, of productions of his own. But J.B. Hart, he's the writer of Hook, of Contact, of Dracula, of August Rush, and a lot more things. So I'm sure you guys have seen some of his movies. Uh, we were talking the other day and said, you know, he's made a career of adapting books to screen. That's what his career has been made. And, um, you know, we were saying, so how many of Hollywood movies do you think have been made from books? And I thought to myself, maybe 50%. And he says, and I think it's about 60%. So that's another great, great uh, motivation. You know, a lot of the movies today are adaptations of books. And I think, the, the learning here is if you're a first-time person that's getting options, 
just be patient and learn. It's a new set of rules, a new um, form of of taking your story to a, just a different format and just learn. And if you can't write the script, because most likely you won't, just say, can I be a consultant? Can I be a consultant for the script writer? Because mm-hmm. if they have any questions, who better than you to be able to help them along that writing journey? So I think it's a matter of being patient of, and getting your first production. Once you have your first production under your belt, then you can be a little, you know, pickier with the next option, if that makes sense. It does make sense. And the thing is, if you come on as a consultant, um, it sounds like there might be a paycheck with it. Would I, am I assuming right? Yes, I mean, as a consultant, and, and those are all the things that you have to put on your option contract, right? Mm-hmm. Going back to that option contract. These things might be spelled in black and white. Otherwise, when... The writer starts writing, right? The next writer starts writing and adapting your book, and you haven't put that in your contract, guess what? They're going to say, I'm sorry, we we just can't do it right now. So you kind of have to think about all these things and see how you can make yourself available, be there if if you can, ask them if you can be on set, you know, all these things which are such great learnings for writers that want to take their books to film. Uh, and that's exciting. That that is that's so it's sixty percent. All right. That, I mean, of course, there's it's it. There's millions of books published every year in all kinds of formats. But when they're looking, uh, when you look at what you see at the movies, there's always new ones. There's TV shows. There's a gazillion cable stations. They're all looking for material. It's kind of like Google. It's hungry. Producers are hungry. It's, yes. So keep that in mind. It's a good time. It's a good it's, time to be a writer. It's a, it's a very good time to be a writer um, with your yes. words and everything else. So you've been around for a little bit over a year, and that can you tell us about? Um, it, it, you've got your you've got a free membership site. I don't know if you want to get into your site now and the cost us, but you, it's taken you globally, has it not? Yes, yes, yes. Um, we you know we've been so lucky. We've been working nonstop around the clock. Uh, you met me in Dallas, but maybe some of you that are listening might have seen me uh, speaking at South by Southwest or um, had a speaking engagement at Book Expo America. Um, you know, any time that I can have a face-to-face with a writer, I think that's great for us because they, they get what we're doing. Um, we do have our, our um, site is basically a free membership site. So anyone that w- wants to become a member, whether it's on the writing side or the producer side, can just go onto storyrocket.com and create a membership. And membership has a lot of perks. It it allows you to put up your profile, to network, uh, to put up your awards, your credits, everything about you. And you can look at the entire site. You can look at projects that are in there. Um, It's really great. It's really a no-brainer. But if you want to have your book put into a pitch package format, and automatically be uploaded to our advanced search engine, which is really the database where producers go into search, that's when you start paying. Now, the great news is that it's really not expensive. It's value-based. We wanted every single writer to be able to afford it. We know that a lot of writers, this is their second job. So um, it's $10 a month to upload up to 10 stories. 10 books, 10 stories, 10 scripts, whatever you want. So I think it's, it's really affordable. Um, and what you're going to end up is a great pitch package that is not only a pitch package that producers can take a look at, at our, in our database as they search through genres and so forth, it's also a great promotional tool. So the second pain point that I have encountered as I speak to writers everywhere around the nation is they need to promote themselves and they're great at writing, but they're horrible promoters. Uh, is that right? Do you hear that over and over again? Oh, oh, oh so I, I'd rather write. Yes. Yes. And, and yes. I say all the time, Anna, you have got to move, remove yourself from being the CWO, the chief writing officer to the CMO, the chief marketing officer. Correct. So, what we've done in Story Rocket is we've kind of given you two tools in one. 
So once your pitch package is done, which is beautiful looking because of the way that, it, you know, the, the way that you're able to upload your information, this pitch package is available to share through social media or email link to anyone anywhere. So this is a promotional tool that you not only use within our community, but that you can use outside of our community. And, you know, I, I don't say that lightly because when you're a writer, you need to promote one, promote two, and promote three. You need to promote, promote, promote. I mean, that is, that is your job <laughs> once your book is written. And, um, and so it's a two-in-one. You have a great-looking pitch package with all the, all the elements that we talked about that you self-submit that you can now share through social media or email to anyone. To, let's say you're going to have an engagement, a speaking engagement. You can send it there. You're, let's say your book is going to be in a, in a bookstore and you're going to have a signing. You can send that as an information page to the manager of that bookstore that's asking for information. Um, you need that for anything. So you can use it in so many ways once you have your pitch package done. Use it as much as you want. We don't care. We're here to help you succeed. And that's why early on we decided that it must be open outside of our community. We want writers to succeed. We're giving you a great promotional tool. And on top of that, you're going to be searchable on our database to producers. All of that for $10 a month for 10, 10 projects. That's huge, 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 huge. So basically, um, it's, it's a freebie to enter in the gate. And then when the pitch pack, you, you're working on your pitch package, is it my understanding that, that you've got kind of a formula or a template that they will be it is, uh, it's, it's, it's a template into? that you fill out. It, you self-submit it, but there is a template, and it's very easy. Uh, we actually uh, recreated that template a few weeks ago mm. to a assisted template. So you have kind of like an assistant a virtual assistant telling you what's next, what's next, what's next, and how to do it. Um, and we've had Rage review about this. And I think uh, the fact that it's easy to get in there, it's affordable to get in there, um, the, the word is spreading. I mean, and you were talking about the international aspect of it. We have people from Ireland, from London, from Australia, from India, uh, China. I mean, we're, we're getting people from all over the place, and we're not even, I'm not even showing up there yet. All right, um, Let, so it's, let's, it's great. Yeah. It, it, it's great. Let's talk about the international possibilities and plus much more. We're going to be right back. It's our final break, and we're talking Story Rocket. is your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask with your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. And we'll be right back with more great information right after these. The book shepherding concept is simple. The publishing world is changing and so must you. You need an experienced shepherd and a guide to partner with you as you create, strategize, develop, publish, and achieve your publishing goals. You can't do it alone without paying the price. You can spend your money creating a book that turns out to be so-so, or you can create a book that looks and feels classy, builds your brand, and is a financial success, a bestseller. It's your choice. You choose. You need the book shepherd. Publishing is riddled with obstacles, sometimes nightmares for the author. You don't need problems. You want solutions. Dr. Judith Bryles will shepherd you through the maze and the chaos. At times, she's had to step in and rescue a book, a book that has been sabotaged by a publisher or by a publishing service provider or sometimes even the author themselves. Judith Bryles is the book shepherd. If you want to create a book with no regrets, give her a call today, 303-885-2207. That's 303-885-2207 or email her at judith at bryles.com. By the way, Bryles is spelled B-R-I-L-E-S. Follow Judith on Twitter at My Book Shepherd and on Facebook at The Book Shepherd.
One of the most important decisions you will ever make is your choice for printing your book. You are choosing a company which will be responsible for guiding you through the process and printing your book at a level of quality and detail that embraces your personal and creative needs. You want to choose a company that when your book finally arrives, you are delighted and ready to move on to the next level and one that is customer focused. Choose King Printing Company and Addy Books to be that company that brings you to the next level. Go to kingprinting.com or call 978-458-2345 and ask for Tom Campbell. At Total Printing Systems, customer service is our priority. We are located in Southern Illinois. Our employees have an average of 18 years' experience and know that customer relationships are important to our continued success. We have been a short-run book printer for nearly 40 years and always stay at the forefront of technology. Our niche is from 1 to 5,000 copies. Today, we offer digital black and white and four-color high-speed inkjet printing, a cost-effective way to introduce color into your short-run titles. We, of course, offer traditional offset printing as well. Bindery is done in-house, from adhesive case binding to PUR, perfect binding to mechanical binding of all types, including side sewing. We provide warehousing, kitting, distribution, inventory management, a new print-on-demand facility, streaming browser-based ebooks, and bookstore. Call us at 1-800-465-5200 for a quote on your next book project. You can also visit our website at www.tps1.com. Welcome back your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask if you want to write and publish a book if you want to be successful as an author your guide to book publishing everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask is for you stay tuned and you'll hear about statistics scenarios and strategies on what to do now to get you published so let's get back to the show and here again is your host dr judith briles Um, you know, Anna, one of the things I wanted to kiss on, because you talk about free membership, and if you can mm-hmm. o- upload up to 10 stories for, for ideas for producers to check out um, for only, and I'm telling you it's only $10 a month. Boy, that is a deal, in my opinion. All right. All right. Let's say right. something picks up. Let's say something text p- gets picked up, and I, and you did kiss on that. So expand on that. So do, does Story Rocket or anyone on the team take um, participate in any of the intellectual rights or any of the production money if it gets optioned or fabulously produced? No. You know, that, that is a great question, and I think that's one of the things that also attracts a lot of people to Story Rocket. We do not take any money, zero. We take zero percent of anything. So you own all your intellectual rights and also we do not take money from an option deal or a development when you go into production when it goes into distribution nowhere do we take any money um that is something that we we thought about it really early on um and we said you know what let them keep their deal let them keep their deal their deal is theirs to keep that is not where we want to make the money. Our money is made out of those membership, which is very affordable, is value-based. It's, and it's going to be really people finding value as to what we are offering and us growing. That's where we're going to make our money. Um, we're not going to make the money off of people's deals. People keep their own deal. Which is, which is lovely. Lovely. So hey, we just need to keep membership coming in. People need to, yes. um, you know, to, to keep this going because this is the best thing that I've seen out here uh, that people can take advantage of. Now, I'm going to encourage all of you who are, who are listening in to make sure you go to storyrocket.com and really check it out. It's an easy peasy website. It's easy to navigate. It's easy to create an account. But as soon as you open it up, you're going to see a little blurb on a video. How long does the video run? The the video is about a two minute video. It's a story of Michael. I think a lot of the writers are gonna um, really relate to that video. Um, and it's really our vision for the site. And then there's some landing pages um, underneath uh, the genres. If you keep scrolling down on our homepage, no, and there's a landing page for writers. And that landing page will give you all the benefits that you get actually as a free member 
and as a writer when you sign up for your $10 a month. So um, there's a whole lot of information at that homepage. What I can tell you is your membership to become a member is free. You get to really showcase yourself as a member of Story Rocket, market, look at everything. Um, like I said, there's no reason why not become a member. And if you have books that you want to either use the, the tool that we have uh, to promote your books, it's a great way to do that, an easy way to do that, especially people who might not have their own web page for their books or don't have the money to do it or anything like that. We hear even some writers who say, you know what, I'm going to give up my web page. I, I, I don't have time to update it. I don't have to, time to do it. Once you put up your package, by the way, it's always um, editable. So you can edit your, your project at any time if you want to change out anything, your, your synopsis or anything about your book. You can always do that. You can edit. Um, so, yes, that's, that's where we are. Um, another thing that I wanted to share, because I know we don't have a lot of time left, mm -hmm. um, is a little bit of advice for those writers that want to get produced. And I think it's before you start pitching your story to a producer or a studio. So please do your homework and research. And I think that, that people say, oh, yeah, of course, I know that. But you, you'd be surprised how many people are sending sci-fi to studios that only handle family or mysteries to studios that are only doing sci-fi. Um, so do your homework and do your research. Check out what that studio or that producer has done lately. What have they produced? What genres are they producing? Um, do they uh, take uh, work from the outside or they don't take any unsolicited work? Do you have someone that might know someone? You know, a lot of times you say, oh, I don't know someone in the studio. But, you know, today I think, you know, that seven, what is it, seven uh, thing of separation? What is it, seven? Or six, 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 uh, six ways to set, six steps to separation. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, it, um, there's always someone that, you, that knows somebody that you can ask for a favor. Um, just keep in mind that this is a sprint. It's not a marathon. It takes time. Um, and people say, oh, just because you placed your book on Story Rocket doesn't mean you're going to get produced tomorrow. Of course not. Of course not. It's like saying, I'm going to put up my house for sale on a realtor.com and it's going to pick up tomorrow. I'm selling it tomorrow. It doesn't. It, it takes time. Uh, it takes effort on your part. Um, we're giving you a great promotional tool. Use it. Um, and, you know, like I said, I want to remind people, promote, promote, promote. And we are here to make sure that you're successful. I'm here to help you. Um, I feel questions all the time from authors asking me this or that. I'm happy to do that. Um, my, my biggest yay is people telling me, hey, I love your site. Um, I've heard from, like, I heard from a lady a couple of weeks ago from Austin, Texas, who actually told me that her uh, material was being seen by Disney, and it's a children's book. So those kind of feedback to me is, is great, the fact that we're growing, that we're growing internationally. This year, I'm going to be speaking in, in Barcelona at the um, International uh, Book Fair for Spain. So I'm really happy with that, that we're going to start spreading the word now for um, Spanish language speakers, and I do believe, I'm a big believer that a great story can transcend any borders, um, and, and we have examples mm -hmm. of that already. For example, Ugly <laughs> Betty. You know, a lot of um, maybe people listening have, have seen Ugly Betty, I think it was on ABC. Um, mm -hmm. That came from Colombia, South America, mm. um, and it was just, you know, it was translated to English and adapted to our culture. And like that, there's a, a lot of great examples. Um, Homeland came from a story from Israel um, and so forth. So I think a great story is a great story, period. Um, so it doesn't matter where it's coming from, and that's why we have a global outlook also for, um, for Story Rocket. And it goes both ways. So maybe a great story that a producer in London finds on Story Rocket, even though the writer might be from Tennessee, it's still a great story. And can be adapted to, uh, to, to you know, to the English audience, and probably culturally adapted as well. And it still will do great. So um, I'm a firm believer that stories don't have borders. And that's that's what's that is fabulous. And you know, here's everyone. I have to tell you the story rocket. 
Com website doesn't have borders either. It's easy to, to use. And there's, um, I don't think Anna mentioned it, but there is a fabulous way that you can see what's trending, what's being looked at a lot. And th these, you know, uh, pitches that are getting attention, you want to look at, you want to study. So what's there to getting people's attention? What's the format? How are they using it? What, what kind of hooks are in there? What's the lure? Um, and, and that's very important to see what's going on. That's part of doing your homework uh, that you, you want to go out to. So I'm excited. Um, I was very excited as soon as I saw it. I, I, it clicked for me that this is something that authors need to know about. And a lot of times, you know, you may have an idea, even the nonfiction authors, you may be surprised that there is a story in there that gets pulled out. The revelations are amazing um, that that could make a difference. And as Anna said, you know, you may be writing recipes. Well, there's, there's you know, there there is the Food Networker. There's all kinds of things out there. So Anna, any last minute, last minute, you have a special code you wanted to give out to our listeners. Yes. Uh, so those of you that do want to... Uh, Try Story Rocket with your stories, meaning uploading and um, getting your pitch package together, which is a ten dollars a month for ten stories. Um, I'm going to offer you a code um, because I think it's important for people to save some money and try us out. So the code I'm going to give out is A Y E Author U. And the E is actually for the extravaganza that you did uh, a little bit mm -hmm. back in August, which is so amazing. So it's A-Y-E, author U, extravaganza, 1825. And with this code, you're going to be able to get a full year of Story Rocket for $75. Oh, and $75 that, a month or $120 a year, you're going to get it for $75 a year which comes $75. in at $6 and something cents. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, spend a little less on Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, we're going to um, have our math, our math out here and doing all these things, but it is a steal. So, storyrocket.com, if, if, if your book could be anywhere globally, and don't just think America, think other countries, the, the crossover as a story, as a, as a feature on film or TV or any of the other uh, avenues that this offers, you need to know about storyrocket.com. I want to thank Anna for being with us. So with a brilliant, brilliant Anna Benitez. This is, I think you've got the secret sauce and I love finding the secret sauce. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And to everyone listening. All right. Here's to Author Smarts to everyone. We'll see you next week. Thank you for being a part of your guide to book publishing. Everything you want to know but didn't know what to ask. With your host, Dr. Judith Bryles. Each